what up what up you guys it's your girl jasmine and i am back with another youtube video before we get into today's video i want to make sure you guys thumbs up this video and write a comment down below the more you guys interact with my videos the more youtube is going to show this video to more and more people <laughs> So let's get that algorithm algorithm in you guys. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up button right now because y'all already know y'all are going to like what I have to say anyway. So you might as well hit the thumbs up button. Also, you guys, make sure y'all check out my description down below. I have lots of free guides down there for you guys to download. I have a how to lose 10 pounds in 30 days guide. I have a four week exercise guide with no equipment needed. I have a 50 glute exercise guide where I talk about how to do each exercise. I have a five day vegan meal plan. I have a four week monthly meal plan, which includes both plant based meals and meals with meat and dairy. So lots of free stuff down below. So make sure you guys check that out. Okay. So now that I got all of that out the way, today is rest day. As y'all saw, or as I talked to y'all about yesterday when I was cooking, yesterday was back and biceps and today is rest day. My body is sore, okay? It's sore. These past few days of working out, I definitely pushed myself and every day that I left the gym, the muscle group that I worked <laughs> was sore. <laughs> So I'm low key proud of myself for pushing myself. Cause some weeks when I go to the gym, like I don't be sore and that's okay. Because as you continue to work out, sometimes you won't be like sore. Like when you first start your fitness journey, you will be sore as fuck. Like sore, like you can't even sit on the toilet sore. Like when I first started my fitness journey, I was sore every day, like sore to the point where it hurt. I couldn't sit on the toilet. I couldn't even lay down without catching a cramp. I would get Charlie horses in my sleep. Like it was bad. Okay. The first few weeks of my fitness journey was terrible. My lower back was hurting. It was so uncomfortable. <laughs> Not trying to discourage you. I'm just letting you know, <laughs> like the first few weeks, they're pretty tough, but it slowly gets easier and easier. But as you get in better shape, you'll still get sore, but your recovery time will be quicker. So like you know, when I first started my fitness journey, if we did glutes on Monday, my glutes would still be sore on Friday, right? Now, if I do glutes on a Monday, I might, my glutes might be sore on Tuesday, but by Wednesday, like I'm good. You know what I mean? So it's like that. But anyway, so I've been sore these past few days, definitely working the muscle groups that I went in there to work. And I was like, you know what? Today on my rest day, I'm going to take a self care day. So I have a lot of things lined up for myself. Um, I used to get a microderm facial every four weeks, but I kind of like stopped because I got so busy. So I haven't gotten one in about three months now. <laughs> you guys have complimented me so much on my skin and want to know my skin regimen. And next week I will be showing you guys exactly what I do to my face every single day. But one of the things that I used to do all the time and I'm going to get back into is my microderm treatment. And basically what they do is they wash your face and they use some type of machine. I don't know. My eyes are always closed y'all. So I don't really know what's going on, but they use some type of machine and it feels like a brush and they're literally like brushing all of the dead skin off of your face. And then they're putting like a vitamin C serum on, which is going to give you that glow. And I have a vitamin C serum that I use daily, which I'll be showing y'all in my skincare routine. But so that's a microderm. Then the next thing I'm going to get done is a 30 minute stretch session. One of my goals for 2024 is to get back into yoga. I used to be so good at going to yoga. Like I was going to yoga twice a week. I don't know what happened. <laughs> like I really don't know what happened. I was going to yoga twice a week for an hour really getting in good stretches. And even before I would work out, I would stretch, I would do some mobility. And over the past like five months, <laughs> that's kind of like died. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I don't know what's going on. Now I just go to the gym and lift and leave. Like I need to get back on my shit. So I'm excited about the stretch session. I've never done that before. So I'll definitely let y'all know how it feels. When the lady took the appointment over the phone, she was telling me that it's going to be pretty uncomfortable. <laughs> so, and I'm not flexible, y'all. Like, I want to work on my flexibility. I want to be able to do the splits one day. One day. Like, I, I would love to do that, but I'm, I'm just not that flexible. Like, honestly, Indian style, sitting Indian style is not the most comfortable position for me. My hips are just so tight. Like, it's like they don't open up as much as they should. And I want to fix that. 
And in 2024, I'm going to work on my flexibility so that I can sit Indian style and not be super uncomfortable. My knees start aching. I want to be able to do the splits. I want to be more flexible, right? My, my flexibility has definitely improved since losing weight because there were some things I really couldn't do when I was a lot bigger, but it could definitely be better. So I'm excited about the 30 minute stretch session. Um, just ready to see how that goes. Now for my food that I'm going to be eating today. So I'm going to make me some pancake some pancakes, some protein pancakes with the walnuts and blueberries. And if you guys have not seen that, I will leave the, the I will leave the link down below where I made that for you guys on YouTube. They're so good, you guys. I love those pancakes to death. And honestly, I prefer those pancakes over regular pancakes now. Like it's it's like that. <laughs> so if you haven't made those, definitely make sure you guys check out my video on how to make the pancakes. I'm going to be eating my curry chickpea sandwiches for lunch. And then for dinner, I'm hoping to order some Jamaican food from my favorite Jamaican spot. I haven't ordered from them in about maybe two or three weeks. So I'm like the curry lentil stew, you guys, is so good. It's so good. And it's the one time that I eat white rice. I don't eat white rice like at all unless I'm ordering Jamaican food from them. But I'm excited to finally get some. And you guys, I don't know if you guys know, but lentils are so high in protein, especially if you're vegan. So if you're looking for more high protein meals, anything with lentils is gonna be your best bet. I make a lentil stew as well, but the way they make it is so much better. Like, <laughs> it's so good. So that's what I found eating for dinner tonight. And for snacks or anything like that, I'm going to bring some pineapples with me. I have apple and I'm going to be drinking my protein drink. And y'all seen that I made a really big protein smoothie, I want to say like two weeks ago. And I was drinking that for the longest, but I kind of stopped enjoying it. <laughs> so what I've been doing recently the past, I want to say about a week and a half now, is I've just been pouring a cup of soy milk, about 10 ounces into my shaker bottle, putting three tablespoons of my protein powder, which is, what is, eight times three, 24 grams plus the soy milk is seven grams, so 33 grams of protein. And I've just been drinking that. Um, yeah, I've been drinking that 31 grams, sorry, <laughs> my math sucks. 31 grams of protein. I've just been drinking that twice a day to get the protein that I need for the day. Um, because I don't know, that smoothie is good. Don't get me wrong. It's definitely tasty. Like smoothies are so good for you, but it's so big. It's so big. And if y'all see me make it, like it literally takes up the whole picture. Like my Vitamix picture, it's, it's full to the top. And like, I just don't have the stomach capacity to be able to drink all of that. <laughs> it's just so much. I don't know why it's so big. Cause I'm really, I'm only using a cup of soy milk. Like, I don't know why it turns into this big, big smoothie. So it's good every once and again for me, but I can't drink it every day. Like I just, I just get so full and it's just too much. Now, another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about on this video is an update on bulking. Um, so my trainer and I had a discussion. There are some things that I'm not liking with bulking and granted you guys, I don't feel like I've given it 100% effort, like as far as like to the T every single day, 3000 calories, 160 grams of protein. Like I could definitely do better on my end. Some of the things that I've noticed, definitely the positives, I've gotten stronger. That is for sure. You guys seen the other day I was able to push a um, 45 pound shoulder press where I was stuck at like 35, 40 pounds for weeks and weeks and weeks and needed a spotter for that. And I was able to do 40s with no spotter. And then I did um, four sets of 45, 10 reps. And then I was able to push 50 for three reps. Um, so I've definitely gotten strong in the gym. That is for sure. That's for sure. But some of the cons so far to bulking is I do feel bloated. I feel like my lower belly got a little bit bigger. It could be in my head because I did not measure myself. Um, but I feel like it got a little bigger. Also, I won't say my clothes don't fit, they still fit. But I do feel like some of my t-shirts are a little bit tighter and um, 
So my long pants, not these shorts that I wear to the gym, but the long pants, I feel like those got a little bit tighter. Now he did tell me I'm gonna gain about 20, 20 pounds between now and the time the bulk starts. So, you know, 20 pound weight increase can definitely be felt in your clothes. But I'm just kind of like, okay, if we're only a month into this, <laughs> what's going to happen come March? You know what I mean? Like, how big am I going to get? <laughs> so, yeah. So we decided to tweak some things because he had me doing 3,000 calories a day, 160 grams of protein. So we're going to drop down to 2,400 calories a day. And he said, as long as I can get 120 grams of protein, I'll be good. He said, if I want to do more, I can, but he was just saying and reminding me bulking is not for everybody. A lot of people, you know, complain about, um, bloating, complain about getting bigger quickly. And it's not necessarily that I'm gaining fat, but you know, you just, you're eating a surplus of food. So you are building muscle. So it's just a lot of those things going on. Um, so that's where I'm at with it. 2,400 2, calories I can do. Honestly, I think that's what I was eating for the most part because some days I might just eat breakfast. I won't even be hungry after the gym, so I'll drink like my protein drink and then I'll eat dinner. And like, so sometimes I'm not even eating three full meals a day. Um, some days I am. So that's what I'm saying. It just, it's like my stomach, my appetite has been all over the place. Like some days I'm starving, like I'm dead as hungry. But then some days I'm like, I'm not hungry. And I'm like literally forcing myself to eat. <laughs> like it, it'd be feeling like that, but I still try to make sure that I'm getting my protein for the most part. Um, but I'll eat lighter foods like my protein drink. I'll do like two Kite Hill yogurts for the day instead of one. And that might be it, which is not good because that's definitely not enough calories. But I'm saying like some days it's just really hard to eat. So those are the adjustments that we made. Um, so I'm definitely going to try to hit those numbers for January and let y'all know how it goes. But yeah. And then the other thing I can say is as far as bulking is concerned, I won't say it, it hasn't really like affected my sleep schedule or anything. Like I still feel like I sleep just fine. I wake up just fine. I am still full of energy. It's not like I'm feeling like sleepy throughout the day or, you know, just, just barely making it or dragging. It's not, I don't feel any of that. I'm still using the bathroom a normal amount of times a day. Um, cause as a vegan, <laughs> I don't know if all vegans experience this, but I go, I go number two, probably about like three times a day. <laughs> so all of that's still the same. None of that's changed. Um, but yeah, so that, those are kind of the updates as far as bulking has been concerned. We're just going to tweak some things. Um, yeah, so that's where I'm at. Let me know if you guys have any questions for me so far. I cannot wait to enjoy my self-care day. I definitely need it. I don't get them as often as I should, and I'm going to change that in 2024 for sure. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions for me. Leave a comment down below. Also, make sure you guys check out my description with all of the free guides that I have available for y'all, 100% free to download. So make sure y'all check that out, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow is also a rest day, so we'll We'll be cooking tomorrow. I have another recipe for you guys and I will see you guys later. Bye.